Are you on a mission to save the tieflings at Moonrise Towers, but find yourself looking for tips or another point of view? Well, look no further because I am here to show you how I completed the mission with no gnomes or tieflings dying in the process. Let's get into it. First off, if you talk to Wilburn about his plan, you'll learn that he needs a hammer to bust through the back walls of the cell. As long as the hammer does real bludgeoning damage, it will work. If you don't have a hammer, his hammer is in the center tower, but beware of the scrying eye in the warden inside. Once you have a hammer, you will need to throw it into his cell without alerting the guards. How I did it was to stand in this corner that wasn't always in direct line of sight, and then I timed my shot so no guards or eyeballs were staring right at me. This method did take me a couple of tries, but it did eventually work. Wolbrim will then tell you he's going to wait for a quiet moment and then break out of his cell. When you end this conversation, a few seconds later, he will bust through the wall and combat will quickly come afterwards. You can try and conceal the escape attempts with darkness or fog as well, it just might be a little more tricky. In my playthrough, after I gave the hammer to Wolbrim, I didn't finish the conversation and switched to Will instead. Will ran over to the tiefling cage, and once the coast was clear, I misty stepped him into the cell and towards the back wall. I then went back to my character and ended the conversation with Wolbrin, and as soon as I heard him bust through the wall, I used Will's Eldritch Blast to break the tiefling's cage wall as well, letting both groups make their escape at the same time. This prevented Wolbrin from having to break the wall into the tiefling's cage, this made it so that no other people had to die in this process and the tieflings did not have to run out the back of the gnome's cell either, which I thought was weird. After both the walls are broken or however you decide to do it, it will probably turn into combat. The enemies are quite formidable here. Some of the things they can do is invisibility, thunderous smite, guardian of faith, and some other not so great things. If you can, try to take out the scrying eyes to prevent reinforcements from coming. I would focus on taking out anyone who's holding concentration spells, but definitely the zealot who does the thunder smite. This is a very brutal attack and can take someone from full health to almost no health. The tieflings and gnomes will run to some boats and try to break the chains to get them free. I'm still unsure if they ever broke that brittle chain, but if the fight continues on for a while, they will start running back to join the fight. If you want to save these individuals, do everything you can to finish the fight or prevent them from joining because they only have 20-ish hit points. But it should also be noted that if the fight takes even longer, the gnomes and tieflings will leave without you, which is actually better in my book because they don't die that way. If you are looking for an extra buff going into this fight, I thought the Elixir of Colossus was great on Karlak, and coating your weapons could also prove to be beneficial here. Once the fight is done, you can loot and then go on the boats with them if they're still there, or just go back to the last light in. Those are the tips I have for this particular quest and one way of completing it. I hope this was helpful in some way, and let me know how you got past the quest in the comment. I've included the remainder of my fight footage so you can see exactly how it went down for me. Thanks for watching, and happy adventuring!
my little trick. ones. Stone, help me free the boat.
Keep the bastards off me! Keep them off me! I'll take care of the chains! to learn the hard way. off me. I'll take care of the boat.
Get over here! 